a relationship. So we got a, a bunch of different perspectives and uh, ways that we handled over the last four years on how to handle arguments in our relationship. Mm -hmm. So number one that I will say is perspective. Mm -hmm. Over the years, I had to learn about perspective and my ego. So for an example, there's times where I remember this one argument Rhee and I had when I was in Delaware and I was a football player. And we just got an audition. And she just got to Delaware. She just got to Delaware. And she said, she told me I have to go back to New York because I have an audition. And I told her, that doesn't make sense. Skip the audition. You need to be here. We haven't seen each other in two weeks. And we got into a huge argument before her bus came. Yeah. And then her bus came. By the time she got on the bus, we didn't spend any time together because we were arguing about how dumb, in my perspective, how dumb it was for her to go to this audition. But her perspective, this was once in a lifetime audition that she was receiving. Right. So after that argument, I literally learned like, okay, you know what? One thing that I learned from this argument is that it really made her mad. Why did it make her mad so much? Mm -hmm. It's because she loves acting. And I love to be with her and love spending time with her. But at the moment, acting need to come first. So I had to change my perspective and understand where she was coming from. Right. And in order to do that, you have to be able to kill your ego. Yeah. So I think the first thing that I had to do is let go of how I felt and saw that she did make more sense in that argument. So number one would be perspective. Number two for us would be how you say it. So just being aware of like how you say certain things. Um, I could think back at a time where, actually just the other day, Nate had visitors, his brother was over, their friends was over, and it was a great time, but you know the day started to get a little later and a little more later, and I really wanted to spend some quality time with Nate. I could have gone about it in a very aggressive way and used a certain tone with him, like, your visitors need to leave, like, now. You know, then he would have, like, took that into offense. But the way I said it, it was different. It was like, hey, babe, I think it's getting pretty late. It's time for them, you know, to start heading out this way. We can spend time, you know, and maybe plan for another day for them to come over. So it's definitely, like, how you say it because we've... <laughs> There's been a couple times where I've said things that I don't necessarily mean it for it to come out sounding mean or aggressive or in a certain tone, but it does happen. So it's definitely like, take a step back, say it in a nicer way, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Just that surprised it, me yesterday say too. Say a little calmer, yeah. And yeah. Yeah, usually she, she would tell me like, it's time for them to go. <laughs> yeah. uh, we gotta do this, so it's time. And, and, and I'm like, you can't say it like that. Mm -hmm. Like. You're right, but you're saying it in the wrong way. So right. we argued a lot of, she was right what she was saying, but how she said it right. was like, how was I crazy. came about it wasn't, it, it, it wasn't like a, a respectful way. It was yeah. kind of like a... Aggressive. And, yeah. and, and if you say it in a certain way, you can start, you're going to get a reaction. So if you say right. it in a mean way, you might get a mean reaction. It's so true. that's one thing we learned um, on how to avoid that argu uh, argument. So really quick, number two is how you say it. How you say it. Mm -hmm. Number three is what you say, okay? It's what you say that can fire things off. So there's times where I come in here from mm -hmm. a long day, right? Anytime you're in public or you're with somebody, you know what you should say. You have to think before you speak. Right. You know like, okay, if I say that, that's not gonna come off right, right? right? So let me have some time People to myself. Watching. let me. Exactly, <laughs> let me have some time to myself to be able to watch what I say because it might start an argument, it might start some type of problem. Mm -hmm. But after a long day, if you're tired, you have no energy, you may just say something that may fire an argument, right? right. So there's times where I come in here and Ree's ready to relax and I just got I'm a, a long day and I say, yo, listen, man, I'm tired right now. I, I don't care what, I don't care what you want to do. I just right. want to go to sleep, right? I, I should have never said that, right? right? And that's not how I really feel overall, but at that moment, at that specific moment, that's how I felt. Mm -hmm. So you have to watch what you say. So yeah. it's how you say and what you say yeah, that are important as well. Like, basically, like, think before you speak, you know? Like, if he's tired and I'm telling him, you have to do this or you have to do that or what about me? You know, it, it, the lines get really blurred. And then you get into this thing of like not putting, and it all, it's like a trickle down effect. It's like you're not putting yourself in their shoes, seeing it from their perspective, how they're feeling. So all of this really comes into play into one when you really think about it. Like 
Yeah. First things first, have a perspective. See where they're coming from. And if you don't really see it, then say what you feel, but then use a certain tone when you say and, it, the right tone. And how to say it. And then, yeah, and then yep. make sure you're saying the right things at the same time. So yeah. thinking before you speak. So. It's a lot of, over the years of four years, this is not going to happen overnight. But as you practice this, mm -hmm. as I practice perspective and how I said it and what I said, then I noticed that it was less arguing. Number four. <laughs> Number four is listening and not just hearing. There's a lot of times where, let's say we're in an argument and you're, you're just like talking over the other person. So you're not really like listening to what they're saying. You hear them talking, but you're more concerned about what you're trying to get out, your point of view, what, what you want to say, you know? So there's been a lot of times where we've had like, just breathe. I'm going to say what I need to say, and then he's going to say what he needs to say, but I need to listen to him mm -hmm. and really take that in, take that information in. Because there's, there's been times where I felt like I was completely right, and he would make a point because I'm listening to him. He'll make a certain point, which makes me really understand his point of view and say, okay, now I see where you're coming from. And it's kind of like that ego. You put that ego to the side and say, yeah, I thought I was right, but actually you're right in this situation. We should do it this way. We should go here. So yeah, it's excellent. very about listening. Excellent. It's, and, it's important. And when you do listen, you hear, you get into step number five, which will be there's a lesson learned at the mm -hmm. end of the day. So most of the time, arguments started off from it's a 50-50 thing, right, yeah. that I, I'll say. But in the beginning, it was mostly me um, for the simple <laughs> fact of, for a simple fact of, of, of small things like walking around with no slippers, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I walk around with no slippers around the house and I get on the bed and there's crumbs all over the bed. And she hated that. And we got in the biggest arguments yeah. because from her perspective, that's dirty. From my perspective, I'm, I grew up in hotels. I'm trying to survive. I'm just trying to get in this bed to sleep so I can get up tomorrow and do what I got to do. She's like, no, this is where you actually rest and lay and very yin. And I was like, no, 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 we're not doing that. Because mm -hmm. I didn't want to change my perspective. And then we got in a bigger argument because what I said and how I said it. But also to how I responded to it. How, how you responded. How I said it to you. It was more, it wasn't like, hey, you know, next time you come on the bed, can you please just suss your feet off or walk around with sandals? It was more like, the next time you get on my bed, make yeah, sure you yeah. do this and make, yeah. it, was, it was very demanding and it wasn't, like, I feel like there was no respect in that sense yeah. because you're not really talking to the person. You're kind of like yelling at them. You're yeah. not trying to get. But at the end of the day, here's the thing. We'll get into this a lot. What is the point of this argument? Right. Sometimes we'll be arguing. I'm like, what is the point of this argument? And the point of that argument is just put your slippers on. <laughs> right? Let's right? put your slippers on. Okay. And then I changed perspective. I was like, you know what? That kind of makes sense. Yeah. So step number five is just learn the lesson. So now yeah. we don't argue about that because I put my slippers on now. Yeah. Right? There's a lot of things like from like simple little things from cleaning the dishes to like just the environment in the house and it just comes from a lot of different things wherever we go whole foods um just different little things it's like there's been arguments that have been started the same thing like the dishes five times now yeah. it's like we don't argue over the dishes nah, now there's a way now we follow our rules and we yeah. say okay we don't argue about so we, we change perspectives yeah. and if i do leave dishes she knows how to say it and yeah. what to say to me and then I sit there and I give her a nice reaction back. Right. So those are five ways that you can avoid arguments. Yeah. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, leave it below. And it helps a relationship last longer. Yeah, four <laughs> years strong, baby. Never broke up. Never cheated, as far mm -hmm. as I know. I was. I was doing that. <laughs> so we'll see you in a bit. Peace. Peace out. How do we... <laughs> I was going to say, how do we make a relationship last? Wait, wait, wait. What is the question? Oh, right here, right here, right here. Hold on. Thank you.